Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to write a program that asks the user to enter the temperature for today and then uses if, elif, else statements to display different messages. So I'm going to start off by declaring a variable called um, temperature. And I'm going to give it a, um, a user using the input method. I'm going to get user's um, entry and I'm going to display the message enter the um, temperature for today. Now we want the temperature to be a, a, a number variable or a floating variable, floating value. So this is going to be string input. So if I wanted temperature to hold a floating value, I would need to convert that to a float in value using the float method. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to print this back to the user just to make sure that we've got it um, working as expected. You have entered. And I'm also going to use the round um, the round function to uh, return the temperature uh, with two decimal places. So I'm going to give the value two. And I'm going to run the program. So it's asking me to enter the temperature. So I'm going to give 23. And this is printing to one decimal place. So I'm just going to run this again and do 23.22 and it's printing it to two decimal places. So because the first time I didn't put any decimal places, um, I realized also I've missed the letter P there. Okay. All right. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that value or the temperature value. And if this is greater or equal to 30, and I'm going to indicate that my condition has finished. And you'll notice that it has indented the, um, the code block under if condition, just to um, specify that this is part of the if condition. And so now I'm going to print out the message saying um, uh, print. And I'm going to uh, print uh, the message, the weather is very hot today. I'm now going to go back to the same level as the if, so I could um, do another condition. And here I'm going to say elif, and this is equivalent to else if in Java or C++. I would say if temperature is greater or equal to 20 this time, then I would now print a different message. I can say the weather is beautiful today. Okay, now I'm going to have another elif, so you can have as many as you want. Make sure the indentation goes um, consistent with the previous ones. And if temperature is greater or equal to 10, then I could say something um, depending on what I think the weather would be. So I would say the weather is, um, is cool today. And anything other than that, so I can now specify an else, so you can add as many as you want, depending if you need to have more messages. But I'm going to finish off with the else statement and I'm going to give it the message the weather is very cool today. Okay, now I'm going to run it. So if I said 33, so it says the weather is very hot today. I'm going to run it again and this time I'll do 25 and it's beautiful today. Next I'll run and I'll try this condition and I'll do um, 14. The weather is cool today. And let's test the last one. So I'm going to do um, 8.345. Sorry, 3.4352. And it rounded that to two decimal places and it says the weather's very cool today. All right. 
that's it and I'll see you in the next one where we actually have a, a loop that keeps displaying the same question. I'll see you then.